These Luminera candles are great. My wife loves them, and I don't have to worry about the kids burning the house down. The only downside is they they just run on batteries. Uh, batteries are fine if you turn them on from time to time, but if you have these candles in timer mode, where they come on at the same time each day for a couple hours, you'll burn through the batteries pretty quick. So my first attempt was to use rechargeable batteries. This worked, but they lasted uh, less than even the regular alkaline batteries. So today I'm going to show you how to wire this up to an AC adapter. Here's some of the supplies we'll need for this job. Obviously, you'll need a LED Luminera candle. This is the actual Luminera brand. There's a few, uh, I won't call them knockoffs, but there's a few other versions of similar candles out there. And the internals of those may be different, but for the most part, it should probably be pretty similar. But you'll need one of these. <clears throat> you'll need some small gauge wire. This is the solid stuff. I prefer that over the stranded stuff, but either will work. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of soldering. Don't be scared, it's not hard. You'll need some solder and a soldering iron. Uh, and then you'll need a power supply. Uh, I found this power supply. So these candles run off of two 1.5 volt batteries. So in total that equals three volts. Um, they don't make too many three volt power supplies, but this is one that I found that does. Um, it's adjustable from three, <clears throat> it's adjustable. Uh, 3, 4.5, 5, 6, 7.5, 9, and 12. Uh, so that's, that's great. You could use this for other things as well, but we've got it set to 3 volts for this project. But the cool thing is this adapter. So it comes with a bunch of these adapters, but this one is really cool because it has the screw terminals on it. So we can easily take our wire, put it in there, and screw it down. That'll make a nice, easy, clean connection. First, we'll need to take the candle apart. Pop the batteries out. Won't be needing those anymore. There's two screws, one right there, one right there. Once you get the screws out, it just slides right out. Now it's still attached to our little LED filament up here, but there should be enough working room. Okay, so here's the, the guts of this thing. <clears throat> so you can trace back this uh, black wire and red wire right here are what comes from our batteries. And if you look, they run right down to this tiny little circuit board right here. So we've got our, it says BT plus and BT minus. So our positive and our negative coming from the battery. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave these connected so we can still run this off of batteries if we want to, but we're just gonna add another positive and negative that will hook up to our power supply, drill a small hole, and then we're good to go. So to drill our hole, we want to make sure that we're in the back of the candle. The smaller part here is the front. So we want to look in the back here and just make sure that you don't hit this screw terminal right here which on mine is a little off center. Uh, I just built a quick little jig out of some scrap wood I had laying around since I'll be doing four of these. Keep the candle from rolling off the table. So my screw hole's a little off, so I'm gonna drill right about there. Just get a small drill bit. Make sure our wire fits. Okay. 
There we go. Our switch is on the front of the candle, so we're going to want to make a hole through this battery compartment right in the middle so that our wires come out right, right there where we need to solder them. Take a suitable length of wire, uh, I got about 20 or 24 inches or so, you can always cut the excess, and strip, might as well strip both ends. By the way, if you don't have a wire stripper like this, you do a lot of these projects, this thing is a must, man, I love this thing. Super quick, just pop it in there, you can set the depth. You're good to go. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is tin these wires. Uh, I don't think it's absolutely critical to do this on solid gauge wire, but it's a little easier to tin the wire. Uh, the, the other thing about soldering is you always want to heat up. You never want to heat the solder directly. What you want to do is heat the surface that you're soldering to. We get this wire warm. When it gets up to temperature, put our solder on there. And what this will do is this when we solder to the actual circuit board, it'll make it stick a little better, much easier. Okay, make sure you always have a clean soldering tip. Now feed your wires through. To the back, get a little slack, and we'll go through our battery compartment. There we go. Okay. Now, again, it might be a little hard to see here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. So, we need to solder to those black and white wires right there. All right, we are gonna try and heat up the wire and the solder at the same time, and then boom, you're done. Take your forceps off, and our red wire is on there. Now we're gonna do the black wire. And now we've got the black wire held in there with our forceps. We'll see if we can squeeze the soldering iron in here. I think we got it. After you're done soldering, to make sure you got a good connection, you can take the other end of your wires and hook them up to your batteries like this. Make sure you get negative and positive correctly and the candle should light up. With our soldering done, it's time to put it back together. Now when you put it back together, you gotta make sure that this little board right here with that coil of wire 
fits nicely into this and that's what makes the little uh, flame flicker so you want to make sure when you put it back the switch faces the front of the candle might be a little challenging Once you get the bottom back in, you can pop your screws back. And just to check our fit, our battery should fit because that wire goes pretty much straight across the middle. Let's just see. Yep. Perfect fit. Make sure you don't run batteries and plug it in at the same time because that will probably fry something. Okay, don't need the batteries. We'll pop our lid on. As a bonus, now that our candle will be plugged into an AC adapter, we can easily use this uh, Wemo mini switch to control our candle with Alexa or Google Home. And here's our final product. Alexa, turn on the candle. Okay. Alexa, turn off the candle. Okay.